sun is out um, hello guys and welcome to another vlog oh my gosh i do need to start this vlog off properly but i also need to get ready so if you're new here hi hello my name is enya we do a little bit of everything on this channel so i'm going to a party me and mother dearest so i need to straighten my hair because it is crimped and crinkled and just not giving what it needs to give so i'm doing a very quick and rough straighten i've also put my camera back on 4k i stopped recording in 4k i think i want to say like a year ago and i've just decided to put it back on 4k because i just feel like it captures so much better. It takes a lot longer to um, like export videos and upload videos to YouTube and get them to process correctly, like in the right format. But I just think 4K is just so clean and I just prefer it so much more. All right, I think my hair is more or less bone straight-ish. I don't know about the back. I'm hoping the back is as straight as it can be. I really am, because I can't see. Um, but now I'm going to steal some of my mum's clothes because there's a dress code. Um, put a quick fit together. We are going. No makeup. If I can find mascara, I'll definitely put on like even a tiny bit of mascara because come on, man and then gets to going so the sun is disappearing a bit but hey -ho. anyway my outfit um this i stole from my mum of course and then don't talk about the mess behind me okay we're just not gonna do that but yeah top i just stole from my mum it's really cute embroidered i'm gonna call it vintage because this is all baby older than me and then leggings again stole my mum's boots and then i'm gonna pair with my ysl because i'm wearing gold bangles and you know black and gold it just makes sense and then perfume i don't really know but i'm gonna wear something and yeah we need to get going because we're late hello my loves it is the next day so yesterday um i think i gave a rundown when i got back but the party was great i'm in the studio i've actually been here since about 9 a.m it is now just gone two it's about quarter past two i have a client coming any minute now for a sew-in her bundles are just in the dryer drying because i colored them like a gingerish color well is what she wanted um yeah so we're going to do a sew-in right now but i have a lot to talk to you guys about so basically there's a new unit available in my building and it has a water supply it actually has two sinks which is great um so i don't know if you guys remember a couple of months ago i managed to bag the salon chairs as well as a sink for washing hair now i was thinking of getting a portable sink unit or um a sink unit that basically you didn't need a water supply for for this unit but i've always kind of felt like this space was too small for that so this morning center management um sent me an email saying that they've got a new unit that's available and it's 50 square feet bigger than mine um and it's basically the same price that is a bargain the only thing is i'm not gonna have all this natural light that i've got because it's not upstairs it's downstairs in the building further back um so there's gonna be a lot of work that's gonna need done but i feel like it's just so much more worth it there's so much space there are cabinets so i don't have to have this eyesore here so i definitely think it's going to be worth it it's just going to take a lot of work i spoke to my parents about it they love it they think i should go for it I spoke to my siblings they think i should go for it I spoke to my man he said well it just depends like how much work do you think is going to need to be done what's the price like do you think it's going to be worth it um i definitely think it's going to be worth it because i can start offering like natural hair treatments and stuff 
you know a good wash and blow dry like you can come and get your hair washed blow dried trimmed and then your wig installed so i can offer a lot more if i take this unit which makes more sense and then obviously when it comes to like coloring bundles and stuff i'm not running to the kitchen um i can just do everything literally in my unit which is another benefit so i'm thinking i'm leaning more towards taking it than not taking it but it's just still the thought of me being so used to this place and then having to move but it's like it's an upgrade technically and also this place has central heating downstairs does not have central heating so that's another thing that i'm gonna have to think about but i can honestly just get a heater like i don't think it's that deep so i probably would have come to a decision before you guys even um let me know if i do come to a decision quickly then what i will do is just create a you know creating a new studio vlog like i did last year when i got this studio i'm probably going to make like a cute little series of getting the space together i don't know but let me know what you guys think nonetheless I'm just gonna wait for my client to get here so we can do her hair i've pre-threaded all my needles on my mannequin head so it's just a thing of her getting here and then we can get started um should be done by about six o'clock if not earlier because it's only a weave i could be done by five I really intrigued it's only three bundles so yeah but we'll see but i'm excited definitely excited i don't know i'm gonna pray on it sleep on it see how i feel tomorrow i'm praying for a dream from god with me in that unit looking at it with all this decorations and stuff and i may change the name guys i may get rid of swanya studios and i may change it to any hair specialist <gasps> i don't know i don't know i don't know it's it's fun but it's also very daunting when i'm, I'm just so used to this space but we'll see but anyway I um, just wanted to say hey and uh, maybe I'll show you maybe I'll record a bit of the process of me doing my client as well I don't know we'll see hello so I've just finished my last client we did a two-part sewing so you have a middle part and a side part my forehead is so shiny because my skin is so oily but yeah we've just done it is now 5 40 she left a little while ago I just like swept the floor and cl um, cleaned up and um so obviously in the last clip I was talking to you guys about potentially taking the new studio space and I asked centre management for a bit of time for me to decide and just what I really love is I put it on my Instagram story basically saying that like this has come up and it's just something that I, I've wanted to do for a while and I just wasn't really sure um, whether I should take it or not but I know it would be great because one thing I love about this place is like it's so homey, it's so cosy, like this this place is my baby, like this is where I've been for almost a year and a half which is crazy and to think that I've got the opportunity to basically upgrade and like step into a new era of my studio step into a new era of my business like with a sink I can now start to offer like I can take a course in like keratin treatments and relaxers and like hair coloring and stuff because I will have a sink to like wash people's hair I can start doing like more natural hair courses I can learn to do a whole bunch of things that I've always wanted to do but I've kind of been limited to because I haven't had a space where I can do that and to think that I'm going to have a space where I can do that is crazy and over the last couple of weeks I've been praying a lot and asking God a lot like just kind of like guide me and like show me what I need to do and where I'm going and to think that this opportunity has come and this is like maybe this is my sign to just step out of faith and take it because I keep thinking oh my gosh like I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my unit but god knows how much business this this new unit could bring and I just need to go forward and take it I feel like I want to view it one more time I want to properly like look in the cabinets and look in like look at the sink and look at how the plumbing is done to see if it can be changed see if there's a hot water tap if I'm gonna have to get like a hot water heater or something but I genuinely feel like it would be such a good idea and it's something that would make so much sense but I am scared <laughs> but I was scared when I got this studio initially so I genuinely feel like maybe maybe this would be I don't know maybe this would be good for me later but anyway um I'm gonna head home I'm gonna lock up and head home. It's 5.45. Uh, I feel like my dad may have gone to drop my mum off at work. I'm not sure. So it might just be me and my grand nanny at home. But yeah, I may be back in the studio tomorrow. 
so if i am that'd be great if i'm not well 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 but that's cool but i am quite excited to think that i might be going through like a a renovation process very soon with a new studio space like in as much as i'm annoyed i only literally just put up that like two months ago and stuff and i'm gonna have to take my sign down but i mean hey if it's got to be done it's got to be done but i am actually quite quite excited but we'll see i am gonna go home there's nothing else to roll for the rest of the day so i definitely will be speaking to you guys tomorrow and we're just gonna see what tomorrow has in store for me good morning you guys so it's the next day today is tuesday um i've been up for a while it's about 1 30 i want to say yeah 1 33 basically my dad and i are going to pardon me my dad and i are going back to my studio building because we're gonna go and view um the studio unit one more time i have until this evening to make a decision before the center management opens up the building to like the general public or anyone else in the studio building to have their opportunity to like go forward and get it i prayed on it um, and I feel like I had a lot of confirmation about taking it. I know I told you guys about all the lovely messages I got of people saying, take it, take it, take it. And even this morning as well, I've just had so many. And I just appreciate every single one of like you guys and my customers for just pouring into me, like watching my videos, supporting my business, buying from me, even a share. It's just so nice. And to know that people believe in my business so much because without everybody else my business wouldn't exist let's be honest like i actually depend on you guys in a way for my business else and your hair specialist isn't a thing so i just appreciate all the love and support that i got in being scared and knowing that i'm going to be in an uncomfortable situation but growth comes from uncomfortable situations so i'm really excited i was on amazon all night i was on pinterest all night like putting things in an amazon basket and pinterest just looking for inspiration of how i'm going to decorate it does look very different to my unit but i generally think with some work well in about like three weeks it can look like a completely different space so i'm just praying for um just for change and just praying for guidance and just praying for direction and finances you know because it's not going to be cheap but hey ho anyway my dad and i are going to make our way there i'm going to take you guys along with me i'm going to switch out my battery because i have one bar on this camera and i don't want it to die midway of me recording so yeah we're going to really really have a look like look at the tiling on the wall look at the sinks and everything again you guys will see all of this while we kind of just figure out like okay like what are we going to do but yeah we're gonna head there now have a look um it's probably gonna be quite quick we're probably gonna be in and out of there in about 10 minutes but yeah guys i'm so excited was the sinks because um so i've got a backwash basin that i bought like months ago yeah and i was thinking to basically like put it here okay so you might have to take like this sink out and fit mine in yeah i don't know how possible that would be i feel like it wouldn't be that hard but I don't know. It won't be that hard as long as you have uh, the water stopper somewhere yeah. inside. And, uh, Let me bring him because well, he'll be able to tell. What me, I think you should do. Yeah. I don't know if it's right. Uh, on the water pipe, hmm, you get a valve. Yeah. The valve plus uh, a rubber hose or yeah. And if you want to put your thing here, it's just bringing out the hose yeah. from cold and hot water. Onto yeah. It. But I was thinking to just, because I yeah. obviously, because I dye hair a lot and stuff like that. Yeah. One mind was like, and keep have, one sink for that yeah. and then keep the other one for like when I'm actually doing clients. Because right. like, to me, that makes the most sense, which would probably be this one because it's a corner one. Because I feel like if it's there, it's just going to get in the way. Yeah. So it would just literally be kind of just to put the sink in here yeah um that was literally and obviously it's got tile floor which is perfect for me so basically the tiles i was thinking of removing yeah, is just some of these yeah, ones because the mirror is like it's yeah, gonna look ugly yeah, if you've got yeah, like the mirrors right. <laughs> yeah, one thing you are forgetting is that you have spaces that yeah. you can get at bnq yeah which will form no but i mean like i want a clean wall because i feel like it just doesn't give yeah. It's going to be Do you know what I mean? Like aesthetics. No, no, no. 
I just feel like for the aesthetic, like, it would be nicer to remove like all of this. If you want. And then it's just a clean white wall because this, fortunately, this can move. So I don't know what I would put. Where is it moving to? I don't know, but like this isn't on the wall like these are. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So I don't know if we could either put it in storage or if someone else wants it. If I find if I don't actually have a need yeah, for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure somebody will have it. Because what I'm going to need is space. Because I already have two mirrors. If I really wanted, I could maybe put like three. And then this would just be a regular regular wall, I guess. You are, when, when are you going to put the sofa, the lid sofa? Would you, I, would you generally speaking, I don't know if I want to have the sofa anymore. I think I'll bring it down to begin with. Because... The sofa can stay here. Easy. Now, this thing is too long. If not, it could have... Can I install, like, curtains? Yeah, you can. I think I'd put curtains here. Just for privacy, because obviously some of my clients are Muslim and obviously they're not allowed to yes, show hair. Yes. So I'd put probably a curtain that can, like, draw down so, like, obviously people can't see in. Um... But I think, I just think this place just makes so much sense. I don't, I personally. <laughs> he wants me to keep the tiles. I I know you do. I to keep the tiles. I just think. If it's for the mirror, because the tiles are here, okay, there's this thing, but we can put a, a spacer of. So the mirrors thing, kind of come out a bit. The mirror. Yeah. And then it would cover that trunk. Yeah. Yes. Because then I can put like a little workstation here How many and plug in like my hot tools. Are you, are you so I have two at the moment. So you're going to get another one. I may or may not, just because. So I was thinking, obviously, you know, when you get your hair done, you take a picture of your hair, da da da. Yeah. So initially, I couldn't remember what this wall looked like, but because there's all of this on the wall, I'd probably keep like a separate bit here so I can put like my. Um, like my logo right, on yeah. the wall so have like a separate area where people will like stand in front get their pictures taken yeah. when everything's done rather than putting in another mirror so I'd probably keep like one mirror there and like one mirror or a little bit more this way because else I won't be able to fit like the sink this is the space you need for one chair isn't it so one mirror here another mirror here but I'd probably yeah I'd probably leave a bit more space but Generally speaking, I think this is. I think this is great. It's funky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. So. And, uh, uh, oh, and all the space in the cupboard as well. Yes. Yeah, so because have, I have uh, so much. I always say to my friends is, my because my cabinets at the moment are quite um. Well, they they're quite um like open okay so you can see everything and i feel like it's a complete eyesore i hate it so me being able to kind of just shove everything away because there's so much storage is way better for me because i can put all hair dyes away hair products away and then just reach for what i need without having to like look this just this just makes so much sense uh i i will encourage you to take it yeah just uh, don't hesitate take it Whatever is to be done, we will look at it. But I personally, in as much you look in dust, we are a chemical laboratory. That's what we call it, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I mean chemistry. It doesn't look like a lab. <laughs> 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 chemical lab for the, the task that I think that you can work it around and make it with a blend very, very nice. Definitely. Did you ever come here when the sandwich lady was here? I think I walked past once, so but not often enough. That, Atlas yeah. Is a tattooist. Ah. So it's, it's people put their individual touch on it. Yeah. And then I mean, it works great as a tattooist, yeah. and it works great as a sandwich shop. So. Yeah. I definitely think it'll be very, especially because of the floor. It's gonna work amazing as a salon space. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, even moving this thing, I'm not sure that is necessary. I think it will be not not to begin with. I think to begin with, I'll just slot it here until like I completely figure out like what we're gonna do. But because I've got there's so much space, I just don't think I'm gonna need this You'd as well. You'd be surprised how quickly you fill that space up. To be honest, <laughs> to be honest, so have yeah. a lot of space here. By the by, by the time you know, I can come to hide some of my records here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
But it is very big, like. I love it. I love how open it is. Uh, is it signed or down? Well, I guess I just have to let you know. Yeah. Um, I will ha I'm happy to take it. I'm just thinking, because of obviously having to like reschedule appointments, maybe not reschedule, but kind of like move around appointments between moving from up there yeah. to down here. I'm trying to think of like an ideal, like a, a realistic time frame. It's not going to take up to a month. That's like, I don't have that much stuff. I would say maybe like two weeks, a week, two weeks. What do Not you reckon? To, uh, sorry to cut you in here. Yeah, it's fine. Like, uh, are you going to cover this? I love it. No, yes, I'm covering it. I can't just have like a black. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would I keep this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to get rid of it. That just doesn't make any sense. It's something that you can be writing your notes. Or... Yeah, but that's why there's like whiteboards and other stuff. And I have like a little, I don't know, diary so calendar or something. This, uh... Because obviously this was a food place. So rather yeah. than getting a whiteboard on the wall, she just painted it black so she can just write whatever, which makes sense. I, I even. Oh, hello, you guys. So I am back home. As you can see. Um, I just had a really good cry. <laughs> like a really, really, really good cry. A very much needed cry. Um, because, so, October has been disgustingly terrible. Um, emotionally, spiritually, not physically, but like, it has just been a very challenging month and you probably it probably would have translated in the vlogs besides my last vlog when i looked direct because that week was just the worst <laughs> so to give a simple rundown um basically so a couple months ago i think i mentioned someone did fraud on my website i don't know if i told you guys but they did and it left me in debt to shopify and I too had two options to either pay a whole bunch of money, like thousand, or um, to come to a settlement with them. But then it also meant that my website is done and I would never be eligible to use Shopify payments again. So I chose the latter to do the settlement because, like I said, October wasn't kind to me and there was just a lot going on. So I chose to do the settlement, um, did the settlement, and then, yeah, I had to basically close down my website and that really upset me because I put a lot of money and a lot of time into doing my website and my best friend Akea she can testify to that because my birthday two years ago 2021 um she was at my place when I lived in London and I was um sorting out my website stock sorting out the eyelashes that I was selling at the time um and then also um building my new website I bought a whole new template and was doing all, doing it up all by myself in time for a valentine's day so I was under pressure and I did it all on my own so she could testify to that so to see that all my hard work is gone because of someone's stupidity and kind of mine because I could have put more security measures in place but I was unaware at the time um is unfortunate so that really threw me off and it really made me upset aside from other things that were going on last month like but mainly that was like it was just it was difficult it was really really hard so yeah and then um just to see how this month has changed it is the last day of the month today today's the 31st of october and the way god has turned this month around for me personally is just crazy it's been emotionally draining very emotionally draining i have cried more this month than i have in a long time i'm not a crier anyone who knows me and yeah knows i'm not a crier i don't be crying for nothing nothing makes me cry like yeah i might be going for a hard time but like it's that like, is deep but it's not that deep like you, you can get through it do you know what i mean like it's not it's not that big of a deal but this month whew, whew, I have cried. <laughs> I have cried. I have cried. I have cried. I really have. But I am obviously, as you can see, in a much better, better space now. So in the last clip, you would have seen that my dad and I went to go visit the new, my new studio unit because we decided to take it. 
and what is so crazy is months ago i don't know if you guys remember if you're new to my channel hey because you may not remember or you may not have watched that vlog months and months and months ago my dad and i went and bought some salon chairs so what had happened was around that time i can't remember what i was going through or dealing with but i was very in tune with god at that time i remember and I was saying that I kind of wanted to upgrade my studio. I wanted to make it feel a bit more salon like. So God had pressed on my heart to go looking for salon chairs. And I was kind of dill dallying, looking for them. Like I wasn't really looking, but I was kind of looking, but I wasn't really looking. So then one day I must have gone to salon services and this other place in Swindon looking for some salon chairs. And I found some, but the prices. Salon chairs are not cheap. They are not cheap. And I was just like, ah, God, like, I know you're telling me to look for this thing, but damn. Surely you won't be telling me to look for something that's so expensive. Surely not. Surely, surely, surely not. Like, this is it was it was just too much. So and I ended up looking. I physically went out looking and then I came home and I prayed on it. I said, God, listen, I know you're telling me to do this thing, so like tell me where to look. The following morning i woke up prayed and then i decided to look on for some reason like i never shop on gumtree guys i don't shop on gumtree it's amazon ebay for me period but something said look on gumtree so i put salon chairs on gumtree and i put a radius of about i think 30 miles or something like that all of a sudden out of nowhere literally posted five minutes ago was a lady who was selling salon chairs for like a hundred pound a pop and also wash basins so like back wash basins that you sit and you get your hair washed for 125 pounds and i said sorry so i emailed her straight away i was like hey um can i pick these up today and if not today tomorrow like let me know she replied immediately she said yeah sure so I think on my dad's birthday, so this is back in May, me and my dad went and I picked up two chairs. Now I wanted three. I really, really wanted three, but I knew that I couldn't afford three at the time. So I wanted to get, so I managed to get two chairs and a backwash basin. And as we were leaving, she was like, do you want anything else? Like you can have whatever you want, da 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 da. And there was a couple of people that had come into the shop saying like, oh, we want some stuff, da da da. But she kind of felt like they were dodgy. But she said there was something about me that made her want to help me. And she said to me, she was like, do you know what? If you want another chair, you can have it for 25 pounds. I know you guys don't have enough space in your car, so you can come back tomorrow and get it. And I was just like, what? And I was thinking, God, you're really like doing a number right here. So we took the backwash brush in, we took the chairs, we went home, we came back to Oxford the next day and then we picked up the last chair for £25. So in total, I managed to get three salon chairs and a backwash basin for under £500, which is unheard of because even the backwash basin that she gave me was £1,000 retail and I got it for £125 cool and i remember telling my girls about it and i was like god is really doing a number here like this is really really yo fine now earlier in the year like a month prior i must have god told me that i was gonna have a salon before the end of the year and to me i thought when he said that it meant like a brick and mortar salon like a shop front salon that's not what he meant <laughs> now god can say something but we have our own imagination of what we think it means but it's like that might not be what he means and for me personally i bought that backwash basket in faith and it's been in storage for time because i don't know when i'm going to need it but i'm going to need it and if i pass upon this opportunity i'm going to be really upset with myself if i could have taken both of them i would have but i said you know what? one is okay start with one you can always get more later fine I remember when I felt that God told me I was going to have a salon, I must have spoken to Antonio. This was ages ago, back when he was in Trinidad. And I remember saying, I don't know how it was going to happen. Like the way business was at the time, I was thinking, how, how am I going to have a salon? Like financially, like how am I going to have a whole ass shop? Like what? And he said to me, don't worry about how, but if God has said it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And I said, cool fast forward to now end of the hardest month of the year that i've personally had 
I have just viewed basically my new salon. The only difference between my studio and a salon building is the fact that I didn't have a water supply. A water supply was the only difference. And to think that after one of the toughest months that I've had, God has really turned it around and said, here you go. I just wanted to see how much it would depend on me is insane. Guys, I literally just went to my mum now and I cried my eyes out because I was just like, I cannot believe that after everything that's happening and the way this year has been, like this has been a great year, business-wise, mentally, socially, um, everything. It's been a really, really good year, but to see that this is how my year is turning, I'm gonna have a salon, like God said, by the end of the year is nuts. I don't even know where to begin with how good God is. I, d I don't even know where to begin. You guys know that I am very open and very transparent about being a business owner. I'm very real. I'm not gonna pretend like everything's glitz and glam. It is not. And my mum always tells me people who make it, like the beginning is never easy. Yo, you guys are watching my business in real time. This is real time. This is what is happening to me basically on a daily basis, okay? You guys see the ins and outs of my business and building a business from the ground up, okay? You guys witnessed when I got my studio, building it, going from clients, clients to now doing weddings and going to events and like speaking at places and being invited to this and that. Like you guys have seen it from basically like more or less the beginning because I've been documenting it. And it's crazy to see that a couple of months ago, where I was and where I am now was two completely different places. And to think that a year ago, I got my studio. And basically a year on, things are changing. And even a year ago today, I was working a nine to five because I lost faith in my business. And I went and got a full time job. And to see myself a year later about to have a salon after quitting that job and saying to God, I trust you. You said you were gonna do this for me. So I'm gonna stand in what you said and we're gonna, we're gonna make a deal. And to see that this is where my business is going is mad. And I also can't thank you guys enough. I can't thank my customers enough for just the constant support. And because really and truly my business would not, would not be my business if it wasn't for you guys. For anyone who books me like i wouldn't be any hair specialist i would be any simple <laughs> like if you guys don't buy into me then i can't be the business owner that i am and i just appreciate that this is the journey that i've been on this is how my month first turned out and i'm just so grateful i'm so happy i am so inspired i am just feeling very blessed right now and um yeah I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I was thinking of making a TikTok. I also hit 700 subscribers. Hello. Hello. That's insane. So we're getting to 1,000 by the end of the year. Yeah, 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 cool. <laughs> but um, honestly, I'm just so happy. I'm very grateful. Um, and it's just like, this has been a ride, guys. It's been a long ride. And to think I'm even starting a new brand. Yo. Yo, what a time, what a time, what a time, what a time to be alive for real. But anyway, Sha, I don't want to keep rambling. I've talked a lot. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, I don't know how much footage is in this vlog. I feel like this is a very at homey vlog. I don't, I don't know what I've done, really. I don't know whether to end this vlog off today or if I should end it off like later on in the week. Generally speaking, I have no clue. But hey, if I end it off now, I love you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate all of your support. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate your support. I appreciate it so much. And I just cannot wait to see like even where I am by this time next year. And this is why I like doing YouTube because I can document this stuff in real time and you guys can watch it. And then in a year's time, even you guys can be like, remember a year ago when you said da 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 da? 
What a beautiful process. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna go for now. I was thinking of making a TikTok, like a little makeup video TikTok. And just getting cute because I don't really have anything else to do for the day. I don't have any clients today, luckily. Um, so I'm gonna work on some email marketing stuff and kind of figure out Black Friday, how I wanna do that. Cause I need to start posting basically from Friday about Black Friday, so yeah, but anyway. Uh, I'm gonna love you, leave you for now. If I pick up the camera again, then cool. If I don't, enjoy the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and um, keep supporting me, guys, because I appreciate it so much. Yeah.